arithmetic sequences. So here's an example where we're, give, we're told that we have an arithmetic sequence and we're asked to write the rule. So this is a little bit different. Always when I'm looking at arithmetic sequences, I'm looking at this as the general formula, that the n term of our arithmetic sequence is equal to the first term plus the, no, the term number minus one times this common difference. So this is what we're given in this problem. What if they give us that the 19th term is equal to 48? Right, so if we go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, all the way out to the 19th term, we're going to find a 48 there. And we're also given a common difference. And that common difference, D, is equal to 3. So then what's the rule for this sequence? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to use what I know here. So I'm going to say the 19th term is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times d. But all I'm going to do here is take these replacement values. So I have d here, d here. It says d is equal to 3, so I'll put my 3 here, 3. Now, if you don't mind, what I always do is I take the difference and I put it out in the front. So if you don't mind, I'm going to have to do that here. just easier for me to look at, if you don't mind. And then I also happen to know that what the 19th term is. And the 19th term is 48. Right? The 19th term is 48. And I also happen to know that the 19th term, well, is the 19th term, and that's what this means. What term is it? So that is 19 here. And if you look, it's actually pretty clever work because it leaves you just with the undefined variable here, actually the undefined constant here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of math. I'm going to go ahead and multiply here and here. And 3 times 19 is 57, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Minus 3 is a sub 1 equals a sub 1. I'm sorry, a sub 1, 48 here so far, I hope. I'm going to get that 48 is equal to the first term. Simplify this, 57 minus 3 is 54, so plus 54. Just going to keep working here. So, because what I, keep in mind, what we're trying to get to is this. We have everything we need here except for the first term, so we don't know what the first term is. So we're looking for this. We're trying to figure out what the hell is this first term because it's necessary in our formula. So that's what I'm working back to. I'm going to add negative 48 to both sides. Get is equal to a sub 1. 54 minus 48 is 6, positive 6, isn't it? Hell, I should do it the other way around. Whoever was just thinking that out loud, good for you. Right, if I do this the other way around, I'll add negative 54 to both sides just to make it cleaner. And we'll get that the first term is equal to negative 6, isn't it? So if the first term is equal to negative 6, then we can go back and we can remember the idea was find the rule. So we're trying to build this. And we already have this part of it, and we are missing this part of it. So this is what I think our rule is now. I think our rule is that the nth term, any term I want to know, is equal to negative 6 plus n minus 1 times 3. Remember, we, they, they gave us this common difference, so that's where this 3 is coming from. Right times 3, I'll put the 3 here if you don't mind. I'll do negative 6 plus 3n minus 3, right? So I believe that the nth term of our sequence, no matter what that term is, no matter which term I want, will be equal to negative 9 plus 3n. Damn, I hope I'm right. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope this gets to the question that you've been asking me. If not, please let me know. Your comments are always welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks. I really appreciate the support, you guys. Peace.